Welcome to a lesson on how to find a second solution and the general solution to a linear second order homogeneous differential equation using the shortcut formula for the reduction of order method. In order to apply the shortcut formula for the method of reduction of order, the linear second order homogeneous differential equation must be in this form here. Notice how the coefficient of the y double prime term must be one. And then to use the reduction of order method, we do have to be given one solution to the differential equation, which we will call y sub one of x. So if our differential equation fits this form here, and we're given y one of x, then we can use the shortcut formula given here to find our second solution, y sub two of x. So y sub two of x will be equal to the given solution times this integral here. Let's take a look at an example. This is the same problem that we solved in the previous lesson using the longer method of reduction of order. The first step is to make sure that the given differential equation is in this form here. So notice in our case we have x squared times y double prime, which means we have to divide every term by x squared. So this would give us y double prime minus three divided by x y prime. I'm gonna go ahead and write this as plus four divided by x squared times y equals zero. Looking at our formula here, notice how we need to identify p of x, which should be the coefficient of y prime. So in this case, p of x is going to be equal to negative three divided by x. which means y sub two of x is gonna be equal to y sub one of x, which is x squared, times the integral, then we have a fraction, where we have e raised to the power of negative, the integral of p of x dx, well, p of x is also negative, so we have a negative here and a negative in the formula. So we'll have the integral of three divided by x dx, and then we'll divide this by y sub one of x squared. We would have x squared squared, or x to the fourth. And all this is integrated with respect to x. So to begin, let's focus on this integral here so we're going to have x squared times the integral of, this is going to be e raised to the power of three natural log x plus a constant. So we'll have e raised to the power of three natural log x plus a constant, which we'll call c. Let's go ahead and move this three to the power on x. So this is natural log x cubed plus c. This is all divided by x to the fourth dx. Let's go ahead and take this on to the next slide. Let's focus on this piece here. This would be equal to e raised to the power of natural log x cubed times e to the power of c. Well, e to the power of c is a constant, and then e raised to the power of natural log x cubed would just be x cubed. So this simplifies nicely to, let's call it, c sub two x cubed. Which means now we'd have x squared times the integral of c sub two x cubed divided by x to the fourth dx. And of course this simplifies here, x cubed divided by x to the fourth would just be one divided by x. So we have x squared times the integral of c sub two divided by x dx, which would just give us x squared times, this would be c sub two natural log x plus another constant, which we'll call c sub one. So this is y sub two of x. Let's go ahead and take this to the next slide. Now notice when we distribute here, we're actually going to have the general solution not just the second solution. So we would have y of x equals c sub two x squared natural log x 
and then plus c sub one x squared. Notice how we have the sum of two linear independent solutions, and therefore this is the general solution. Also notice that it contains the solution y sub one of x equals x squared when c sub two equals zero and c sub one equals one. And therefore, to find our second solution, we can let c sub one equals zero and c sub two equal one. So we can say that y sub two of x would be equal to x squared times natural log x. This would be a second solution. So while using the shortcut method might be faster, it's really not clear why the method is called the reduction of order. So it's not until we actually find y, y prime, y double prime, and perform substitution into the original differential equation that we understand why it's called the reduction of order method. By performing those substitutions, we're able to reduce the given differential equation to a linear first order differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.